Hello and welcome to the Liz Experiment YouTube channel. This is the channel where I record field notes from my journey towards architecting my best life, or at least trying to architect my best life. I am giving you this update this week. This I am bringing you this week's update. Let's say it like that. Um, from Budapest, Hungary. That's right. I am back in Budapest. I had a week off in between house sits, and so I just decided you know what, let me go back, let me see my good friend and just take some time to see the city. I didn't get to see much of it last time I was here in April because I was working quite a bit. So that's what I'm doing here this week. What did I learn this week? So for those of you who maybe don't watch every week, I um, just arrived in Budapest. I'm recording this on Friday. I guess this will probably post on a Friday. It'll probably post to the channel on Friday. Um, and Wednesday night, so uh, less than 48 hours ago, I flew in from uh, Gatwick Airport in England, where I was I was in West Sussex uh, pet sitting for these amazing people and their amazing basset hounds. And um, I learned a lot during my last week there, so let me get into it. The first thing I learned, which I always am reminded of each and every time I sit for pets, but I thought it was uh, especially important this time. I learned slash was reminded of um, just kindness and compassion and having fun. So this is something that two very um, cute but stubborn basset hounds will teach you and also very fun basset hounds. So um, I learned about that. I'll talk more about what I was working on with that in a little bit. I also learned, I guess the big one this week was I came to grips with the idea that this journey that I'm on where I don't have a home base and I'm bouncing around every two weeks or every month or whatever the time frame is, it's not forever. I mean, it is, but it's not. And so I started to get my head around that and what, what's next, when will it end and what's next. Um, the third thing I learned this week or that I was reminded of was, you know what? the world is not completely in your control. So you just got to be flexible and adjust. And finally, I learned that you need a break, Liz, you need a break from work. And well, I guess I didn't learn that. But I, um, I learned, yeah, that this is the perfect time for a break and to, to hang with my friend. So those were all like, everything that happened so far this week. It's Friday. So I guess this week. What did I work on in regards to what I learned? Well, the first thing, working on um, kindness and compassion and fun. Like I said, when you're around pets especially, but especially pets that are just very kind and, and compassionate and affectionate, um, it's kind of hard not to work on being kind and compassionate and just affectionate and happy and having fun. And so Basset Hounds are some of my favorite dogs in general. When I was young, I had this stuffed animal. Those of you who are my friend will remember Christy, the wrinkly dog in the purple dress. I took her everywhere. I love this stuffed animal. She was a Basset Hound. And so being around Basset Hounds for three weeks was just awesome. Um, but, you know, especially when you're around pets that, that are the type of pets you love, you they really cause you to stop and say, you know what? It's not that serious. It's not that serious. Yes, I just dropped a bottle of balsamic vinegar all over the floor, but nobody got hurt and it got cleaned up. So it's not that serious. So I really, really worked on that this week. And I think I got a great benefit from working on it because I just felt so much lighter as I moved throughout my life. Um, you know, I just, I just reminded myself to smile at at all of it. Just smile. We, we can't change so much of this world. You know, we're in this spot of the world's going crazy, especially in America. Can't change it except through your own uh, perspective. So I just, just smile and just be the best person you can. That's what I worked on. Um, the big learning that I talked about was that this journey isn't forever. And then, but of course it is, you know, but you're always working at being a better person or I am always working at that. But I had a call this week with my intuitive friend, Suzette, who I've talked about before, and I'll put a link to her site in the show notes. 
um, I always talk to her, I talk to her about every six months. And so we talked about, you know, what's next? When does this end? And she kind of reminded me, you always thought it was going to be about two years. And for those of you who are new to this journey, this journey is me, as, as I said, not having a home base and hopping around. And I started in June 2018. So I'm guessing around next spring or summer, I'm going to be settling somewhere at least for like six months. I, I don't know if I'll, I don't know yet. I, I guess I should say that. I don't know yet. Um, but what I worked on was accepting that, uh, opening myself to possibility and to manifestation. And the way I worked on that manifesting, I think we hear that a lot in the, in the at least the new age world. Like you could just manifest it. But I think the key to that is you have to know what you're trying to manifest. And so one of the big things I worked on with thinking about my journey is what am I trying to do with all this? Yeah, I want to figure out how to architect my best life. But what does that look like when I'm no longer on the road? What do I, before I can even say that, like, what do I want out of that? What do I, what can I imagine the next step being to get to my ultimate goal? And those are some really, really hard topics to think about and talk about because we want to be led through life. We don't want to be respond. I don't want to be, I'm talking for myself. I don't want to be responsible. I want to say, you know, the universe, God, whomever they're, it's their, no, you know what? It's like, this is the time where you have to figure it out. Liz. So I've been working on that quite a bit this week. What do I want from the journey? What am I, what is my goal in my life? Um, and I just had a thought, like two of the things that my friend Suzette said that were my goals coming into this life, if you believe all that stuff, whatever, uh, were to be able to speak my truth without uh, caring what other people say. Guess I'm doing that now, huh? And um, to to realize that it's to, to, to let go of all the things, not just material things, just the things of life. It's all an illusion. And so I guess if I look at those two things as my goals or some of them, what is the next step in doing that? I've, I've put myself in this mode where I don't have many things, including relationships. I mean, I have friends and relationships in that regard, but I don't have them here. Okay, so I lived without that. Now what's next? More to come on that front. The third thing I said I learned this week or I was reminded of was to be flexible and adaptable. And so I thought of that because, well, obviously I was pet sitting and pets are always they're living beings that need love affection and attention so they're going to cause you to to uh remind yourself to be flexible and adaptable but the main thing that happened was wednesday night i had a flight out of gatwick airport and it was delayed by an hour and this may not have been a big deal except that it caused me to miss my the last bus from hungary or budapest airport into the city which then caused me to have to take a cab and blah, 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 and download an app and all these other things. And it was super late at night. By the time I got here, it was like two in the morning. Um, but I just went with it. You know, I really worked on saying, I know this is going to work out for the best. I have faith in that. And it did. It worked out. I got here safely. I saw my friend. We went to bed. I was super tired yesterday. But you know what? It's fine. And I just went with it and all the stress that I would have built up in myself, I didn't have to deal with. So very, very hard work on that front, but uh, important work, I think. And then finally, today marks my very first uh, day off from work in a really long time. And I'm off from work from, I have work, I'm taking off from work until after Labor Day in the States. So for those of you international, that's um, September 3rd, Tuesday, September 3rd. And I'm effing pumped people like I haven't taken a day off all of this traveling I've been doing I think I maybe took a few days off when I was in when I was road tripping from um New Mexico to California but I was driving you know it wasn't like necessarily a day off so I have those days off I'm here in an awesome city I'm here with a really dear friend my best friend we're able to explore I mean or just not so I'm really I worked on the past week, just getting my mind around, wow, this is, I need to take this time off. Um, at the same time, I recognize that your life is completely integrated. You know, there's no work-life balance. There's just work in life. And so I don't want to necessarily draw this hard line like I'm off from work. Um, I don't want to do work when I'm while I'm off. But So this is what I was getting my head around. But it's like I don't want to reinstate that 
only the only day, time I can enjoy life is when I'm off, uh, because I don't believe in that. Um, I think you just have to enjoy life, and all of it can be a blessing if you. For some people, I'm, I understand that you know it's not always, but um, it can be. So that's what I worked on last week. This week, my week off, I'm gonna have some fun in Budapest. So let me get right to that. I guess I guess that's it for this week. Next time I talk to you, I'll be in Warsaw, Poland, um, for my next house sit with a Jack Russell Terrier named Jack. I'm very excited to meet him. I it'll probably be a day or two late. Usually I release on Thursday or Friday, but I'm flying into Warsaw on Thursday, so I'm assuming I'll be getting to know the city and reconnecting with the homeowners and, and getting to know the pets and all those things. So um, for those of you that are chomping at the bit for the video, there's got to be somebody out there. Come on. Uh, <laughs> that's why it's a little bit late. So if you like this, uh, this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to comment on, I want to hear it. What more do you want to hear about, about uh, what I'm doing to architect my best life? What are you doing to architect your best life? What am I forgetting about talking about? Please share. I want to know. And if you want to get these videos every week, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really helps spread the word about just all of us trying to live our best life. So until next week, thanks for watching. I'm going to